Dr. Nana here. On today's episode, I want us to talk about creating your own vision. Creating your own vision. Overall episode for this season is God is real. The overall episode is God is real. That's the message that God actually want me to pass to his children. But on this particular one, it's creating your own vision. How do we create our own vision and what is vision to you? We have to know that ideas does not domicile on one person. That's one thing we need to know. So we have to continue to learn. We have to listen to people. Recently, I was talking to someone in my gym and he said about intimate fasting. I'm like, what's that? I'm a college professor, but I haven't even heard about that word before. I learned from that person. I said, okay, I'm going to research that and see what that is, you know? So today we are going to talk about creating your own vision. And what is a vision? Let's start, start from there. A vision is like a powerful image of a desired future, you know, that you want to see for yourself. That's what a vision is. A desired future that you want to see for, for yourself. You envision it. So that vision provides a sense of purpose and a direction that will guide everything that you'll be doing. All right? So creating your own vision it's, a power. It's, it's, it's powerful. That empowers you to shape your own identity rather than simply reacting to what you hear this one say or that one say or whatever. Right? So it's important for all of us to create our own vision. If we do not, it becomes like insanity going in circle and not able to move past what you really want to achieve. You are not able to achieve that. Why are we saying all of this? I take my time to do all this episode so that even if it's one person that will listen and you learn, I have delivered my message. I have passed my message to that person. So on today's episode, I want you to create your own vision and that vision becomes a beacon of light in time of uncertainty. In times of what? Uncertainty. Your vision becomes that light that will inspire you to continue to move forward. Overall, I want us to know that God is free. The reason why we often have a lot of issues in Nigeria, because the Nigeria of today is not the Nigeria of five years ago or ten years ago. Everybody is doing so much to put down the other. If you look at the cyber uh, space, a lot of people are doing a whole lot of nonsensical things just to put down one person or the other for them to rise. That's not the Nigeria we know. The Nigeria we knew growing up is full of dignity and uh, ethical value, cultural values and all of that. So it's now full of so many things. That's because people have left their own vision. They don't even have a vision. They are leaving their own vision to pursue other people's vision. Therefore, you are missing all of the things that you are supposed to gain as a human being. So, on today's, vision, on today's episode, I want you to know how to create your own vision. Define your own vision. Set a roadmap for your own success. What is a roadmap? When, as a researcher, when we are doing research, right, you create mapping. Mapping is like... Um, let me tell you what a mapping is. So when you think about mapping, if you take a bottle of water, for instance, and you want to map this, it has a cover, it has a body, the top, the bottom, the body, and the water inside. So creating your own vision, you have to do a mapping like that. 
so if you break this apart to put it together you know you have to make a whole bottle that will have the top the bottom the the, the this the body the content and the cover that's how you create your own vision and you start to you know try to put it together after breaking it down that keeps you that keeps you busy if you are doing anything that everybody is doing you will never be able to move forward you end up being uh like an enemy of progress uh because you are not able to put your life together you try to put down people and all of that so on today's episode while we all know that god is real as the major message for this season i want you to create your own vision if you are going to a worship house that you are not gaining from because these days i will say to you 90 percent of those worship houses there is not about god one have it in your mind that church see it as an association all right start to see it in your mind that this is an association like a community all right first of all have it in mind that it's an association of like minds see it as a community of like minds if you are lucky to have that pastor that is there that will be speaking the word of god then you can learn from that don't put it as a place where you go to only see god god is in us we are the church it's what you have in you that you give out majority majority of them they are in business this is even overflowed by now we should know that that they are all in business like 90 percent of them they are in business Okay, so if you are looking to find the other ten percent that you are attending it, just know that it's not only about gold. If it is about gold, then it will not matter which one you go to. So if there's a building that have four churches, for instance, if you are going to one, you are not expected to go to the other one and then come back. So you have to see it like that. On today's episode, God is real. And creating your own vision will help you to move forward even when there is uncertainty that you cannot see. That your vision will continue to remind you that you have to keep moving. You don't need to bring down someone. Recently, something happened to us. As careful as we are and everything, people came into our lives and we actually thought they were Christian. You know, we're trying to help them. Meanwhile, it was something else they were planning for us. But God showed them that it's bigger than all their, all their manipulation and put them to shame. So when God is with you, I don't think you should be afraid of any other person. There's really no reason to be afraid of anything. So what you need to do is to align yourself with God. Align yourself with God. When you align yourself with God, you are going to hear from him. He will direct your path. Your intuition will speak. You will see that you start to do things just as, as the Lord wants us to do it. So on to this episode, I want to encourage my viewers to create their own vision. And recently something happened in Nigeria. I saw it in the news, like this thing that is happening. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission have commenced investigation into the allegedly spraying of Naira notes against Idris Okunaye, also known as Bobriski. The EFCC had invited the 31-year-old following a video report of him spraying and flaunting wads of new Naira notes at the premiere of a movie named Ajakaju. Investigation also revealed that he had also committed same offense as some other event centers and parties at different times. He arrived at the Lagos Zonal Command of the EFCC this morning for interrogation and volunteered his statement. He will soon be charged to court upon conclusion of investigation. Kunea, a.k.a. Bob Brisky, appears to be in hot soup, if you ask me. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arraigned him in court on a six-count charge bordering on abuse of the Naira and other offenses. Initially, the abuse of the Naira and has begged for mercy, uh, but the trial judge has not uh, budged. He has sent 
uh, Bob Risky back to the EFCC, EFCC custody and therefore reserve judgment on the matter to April 9. We are prisoners of the choices we make in life here, Majid. <laughs> this is not our culture. Where you now celebrate men as women. It's not our culture. What are we teaching our children? It's just not our culture. It might be happening in other parts of the world, but it's just not our culture. And it's not something we should encourage. And whoever it is, is that person who did a show and tried to do this, was trying to make a name. And that name now, in my view, is destroyed. I'm not sure I, want, I would like to watch that movie. Rather, I will not even want to. If I see her, the only thing I'll be seeing is what she did. This is try to make so much name out of something that is bad. And it backfired big time. So on today's episode, I want you to know that God is real. I want you to know that when you go to those worship houses, that's not where God is only. Because God is in us. We have to go out and do what God wants us to do. And you have to know that when you are looking for something, you have to put your trust in God, not in any man. And from no reason, from no way, God is going to bring people. See, I say that is doing what God really wants us to do. Who oh, is not perfect? Like I am not perfect. It's bracketed. Bracketed is doing it more than all the bishop, all the churches, all of them put together. Bracketed is, is doing better than them. I am happy. I started watching a show not too long ago, but now I made my show. I said, no churches is no churches even do anything that he's doing. And I start to ask people, which church do you go to when you come for help? It's important to do that. Because I've not seen any church that will use their platform to raise money for, for, for their member who is dying or who their children are dying. They don't do it. So, if it's for God, that's exactly what they will do. Because they are not God who will cure you. So when you come with a problem as a church member, or whether you are not even a church member, is to ask people who come to the church to help. But they don't do it. The, but that's what Berkeley is doing. So who is actually doing God's work? Berkeley is not perfect. He has his own flaws because I watch him. I see how he behaves and all of that. But I love him for what he does. I am not perfect. All right? Nobody is perfect, but we are to help one another. On today's episode, I want to alert you. I want to let you know, create your own vision. When you create your own vision, you will not be, you will not be downcasted. There's no way that you'll be busy trying to catch up with your vision. You have time for another person and know that God is real. Whatever problems that you are having, God is able to take care of it. But you have to go out to do your part and believe and trust God that he will be able to do it. So to allow you to, to have growth, it will help you to transform who you want to be. He will empower you to achieve those goals that you set for yourself because of the vision that you have created. Know that God is free. So one thing that is setting again that I really want to tell people, especially those people in the pulpit, God is coming. And one thing I want to tell you is that if you are, say you are a pastor, woman or man, and then you know that you are not called of God, you are just there because you are doing business, <laughs> it's time to pack up. Just leave, some of you have left but planted their children and their wives. If you are not, just leave now. Time is now. And go do some other thing or retire because God is coming. From that altar, he said he's going to be bringing you down. From that altar, that's when he starts he start to disgrace you. Disgrace that you will not imagine. That's what the Lord is saying. So, I hope you are called of God. And if you are not, you are just there doing business. The time is what? The time is up. I want to thank you all for watching. Take care now. And bye for now.